in this particular video today i'm going to share with you the best way to pose wedding groups even if they are not weddings or you're shooting a corporate event or something i'm going to share with you a framework that i learned from the old painting masters the leonardo da vinci's of this world it doesn't matter how many people they are this particular framework is going to help you get the best out of group portraits the biggest entourage i've shot had 36 people that is the biggest entourage i've shot and was really challenging and it is that particular wedding that got me into finding a framework of how we can really pose these group pictures in the best appropriate way i call it the last supper framework why do i call it the last supper framework i call it the last supper framework because it is inspired by leonardo da vinci's painting of the last supper when you look at this particular painting leonardo da vinci painted it in such a way that he created scenes within a scene and within the scenes he created shapes when you look at these shapes they are triangles squares Leonardo da Vinci goes on grouping these people he goes on grouping the disciples into groups of three three when you look at this particular artwork by Leonardo da Vinci he goes on grouping the disciples into different groups this is what he does he gets Jesus who is the golden section the point of all focus and he positions him in the center of the whole piece when you look at the whole piece we have like one two three four five scenes happening in one single scene so if you want to create super stunning group portraits here is your basic framework get your couple and make them the golden section just like da vinci did to jesus by placing him in the center to group the other bridesmaids best man and the other bridal entourage in groups of two two or three three people and position them side by side of the golden section here what i do i position my bride and groom at the center of the whole scene then i go on grouping the rest of the entourage into different groups of course following maybe now this one is like a hexagon a picture like this would forever be treasured because it is not us just shooting a moment and capturing a moment for the sake of the moment but we are giving them something to live on to cherish forever and ever 